Hey y'all, it's Dorothy from PreppingYourStep.com and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because not only is it about coffee, but it's how I make my favorite Starbucks coffee drink here at home and I'm showing y'all how I do it. So this is a fun little bonus post for y'all and I hope you're as excited as I am because I love iced coffee, but the Starbucks close to me really isn't that close to me. So I find myself deciding to leave even earlier in the morning just so I can go and get an iced coffee with vanilla. It's my favorite. So that's what I'm showing y'all how to make today and it's super easy. Um, I'll just take you through the steps and I'll also have a blog post that has the recipe on there for y'all in case you'd like to print that out or take it as your grocery list next time you go to the store. But it's super easy, it won't take long. I wish I could say I brewed my own iced coffee, but I let Starbucks do what they do best and I just buy their unsweetened version at the grocery store. So without me being over caffeinated and overly excited in this intro, let's get into it. So what you'll need to make your own iced coffee is some iced coffee. I get Starbucks unsweetened version from Publix. You'll need some ice, a nice little mug. I like to use a small one in the morning so I don't over caffeinate. You'll need some Starbucks vanilla syrup, and you'll also need some milk or cream, depending on what you do like in your coffee. So to get started, go ahead and pour your desired amount of ice into your mug so that it is in there and ready to go. And then you're gonna take your vanilla syrup, and I like to do two or three pumps. You can kind of taste it afterwards to decide if you want more, and you can always add more iced coffee as well, but then you'll go ahead and pour the iced coffee into your drink. Leave a little bit of extra room in the cup so that you can pour some milk in there as well if you like a little bit of cream or sweetness added to your drink. Just see that it's just raining. There ain't no need to go outside. I pour a little bit of 2% milk into my coffee and then when I'm stirring it I like it to be kind of a dark brown color, not too light because I don't want too much milk, but that's what I do. And there you have it, your own iced vanilla coffee. Doing what you're supposed to. So I hope you all enjoyed that little post at how I make my own iced vanilla coffee here at home. Um, if you do like different things in your coffee, Starbucks offers a lot of different syrups. So I'm sure you can, you know, get this to match whatever your favorite coffee is, whether it be hazelnut or vanilla. I don't know what other syrups they have, but those are my go-tos, especially vanilla. So if you do like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up and maybe I'll create some more of these sort of videos for y'all and go check out my blog and all my social media, which is always linked below. And I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.